An offer on this home in Kansas City, South Moreland neighborhood was just accepted today. According to the realtor, a family made that accepted offer. But South Moreland Neighborhood Association President Laura Burkhalter says investors have snatched up many of the homes and are using them as short-term rentals. The result has been loud parties, trash, and parking issues. They're just not really uh, thoughtful neighbors. A new city audit found of the roughly 2,000 short-term rental properties in Kansas City, 90% of them don't have the required permit to operate. The result is about a million dollars in unpaid fees in the last four years. When we're not getting all of those folks registering, we're not getting the money to properly manage that whole large industry. Another audit found current state law doesn't allow taxing short-term rentals like hotels and motels, meaning a loss of more than two million dollars a year in city revenues if they could. I'm not here to protect the hotel industry, however, I am here to propose that we at least make a level playing field. I do believe that a change is needed. The issues the audits and Kansas City leaders believe need to be addressed in some instances may take months and even years to fix. In Kansas City, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News.